Star Fox! Finally got it working. But yeah! Let's play some Star Fox Zero! Star Fox! Let's do some Star Fox Zero. Star Fox! There, I just took a photo of the nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stupidest thing! But it fucking works! To conserve energy, the Wii U console has been set to power down automatically if left unused for a set period of time. Please be aware that if the <sighs> console powers down... Thanks, the day, Wii U. Oh, okay. How, how very helpful to know when we're about to start this uh, roller coaster of a game. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's create some save data. and Okay, save data created. Let's go. Get this party started! Nintendo! Platinum Games! Yeah! Love Platinum Present Games. Present the worst game of 2016. Oh, don't say that. That makes me sad. For the Wii U. That could be any of them. <laughs> there were so many bad games yeah, for the Wii U made. Yeah, they made for them, but... Uh... Well, first off, we need to do some R-Wing training because of the ridiculous way this game plays. Yeah, so let me go into the technical aspects yeah, and how much you of go into the technical aspect and then we'll talk about how the game actually feels. Okay, so just imagine this. What you are seeing right now in this video is the audio coming from the characters. That matches. You're also seeing audio from the game. That matches. What's kind of a kick in the face is the audio for the characters only comes through the gamepad. Only there is no way to change it. So when you're playing this game normally and you have your volume down in your gamepad, you're hearing pantomime. You're hearing them like mouth things to you. Which means I basically had to trick my computer to uh, read only the gamepad audio. And the other fucking fun thing is when you plug in anything into the headphone jack on the Wii U when you start this game. The main TV audio goes away, and it's only audio from the gamepad, which makes perfect sense. Whoever designed this is a dick. Okay, I'm done. Well, good, because now we're about to actually start playing the game. All right, see if you remember how to play Star Fox, my dude. I do remember how to play Star Fox, but uh, what, I don't, I don't, what I don't remember is these... Uh, Absolutely awful uh, controls they got me going on with here. Yeah, another thing about Star Fox Zero is you can never turn off the motion controls. They are always present, and they will always be like this. Yeah, as it says here in the top right of the gamepad screen we have here, always on. Always on, and even when you push the button, it doesn't actually go away. Nope, it just makes it, you can change it while it's going. Oh, God, here we go. Alright, so here's the big difference with Star Fox Zero. So you have the regular view that you would see if you were playing regular Star Fox games. You would see the entire ship and everything around you. But on the gamepad, you're seeing everything in a first-person perspective. This is what they call sharpshooter mode. And I'll give them this. It does make it easier to aim. But this is... I, I can't believe they did this. This is... This is... Bad. You actually have to focus on two screens at the same time if you want to get really good at this game. I mean, I know the gamepad's only for sharpshooting, but sometimes you need that sharpshooting in order to hit your targets. It's really bad, though. Now, you've never played this game. You've only played this. Yeah, I've, I've, I've only done this training segment. That's, that's all I've done in this game. And I'm a Star Fox fanatic. Yeah. And I, I was excited for this game. I thought it was going to be really good. And then it came out and turns out it was uh, uh, hot, yeah. hot ball garbage piece of shit. Yeah. So uh, I did you a favor and I played through the first level just to test a few things. Uh huh. And there are a couple things where I had a different idea on how this project would go. And uh, it still didn't really work. Because all the audio comes from the fucking game pad. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna stop bitching hey, about it. At, at least we got it to work. It's working now. <laughs> it better We're work. Here. We're here. <laughs> Everything's all good. The aiming ridicule, ridicule keeps getting uh, de-fucking synced, so I gotta keep recalibrating keep it. pressing X. Is it X? No, it's uh, Y to recalibrate. It's, it's Y or pressing in the left stick. Because this game makes it ever so important to make everything as difficult as it can. Okay, you want to know the, the the thing that fucking kills me? What's that? Press select. Or minus. There you go. What? You just switched you just what? switched it. What? So now the main What? The main view is on the gamepad and the thing that's normally on the gamepad is on the main TV. Oh! Oh I don't I don't like that no Yeah, change it back. No, no. 
See, that was my original idea for the series, but it wouldn't fucking work. Because, again, all the audio is on the goddamn gamepad. <laughs> oh, Nintendo, bite me. We had to get a specially made gamepad just to be able to do this. I mean, we, we can do... We've done Wii U games before without any sort of you know, modifications, all that, just fine. But with this one, we had to get something special because the audio only comes from the gamepad. <laughs> And, and that's only because I have something plugged into the Henfo jack to get that audio. Only because people only talk through the gamepad. <laughs> this makes no goddamn sense. No, and you know what? I got that modded Wii U gamepad thinking, yeah, we can finally do Wii U games. Possibilities are endless. I didn't think there'd be a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> it's, uh, that's a possibility, my friend. That's all it was. <laughs> it's a possibility, yeah. Well, it... We fight, and, and we win, and we do better. Hey, Rob, what's right, going on? I gotta head over here now, or something. Yep. Yeah, they want you to just... <laughs> no abnormalities, although you just ran into the Great Fox. So, hey, Rob, you see me? So, what they want you to do here is you focus on Rob, and then you focus on your three squad mates. So, go ahead and find them out in all range mode, and then target on them. And then you get to talk to them and possibly throw a bomb at them. Which is really funny. There we go. That's us. Think he can keep up? Okay, here we go. Keep your eyes on me, Fox. Where okay, the where'd you go? Fuck you go. Where you fuck did you go, hair? Where did you? Go? Uh, how, uh, is there anything in first person that you can see? Oh, there he is. Where, oh, okay, so here he is. Keep a uh, keep a hold on him. And if right, memory serves me correctly, if you're targeting on somebody, going into sharpshooter mode actually does help kind of steer. But again, you don't really need that because you, you can see your ship. Yeah. I mean, okay, now go find Falco. There he is. Yeah, Falco's next. Whoa, he's, he's whoa, 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 where are you going, Bucko? Where did he go? Uh, there, uh, there he is. Uh, well, All right. Uh, here, okay. Just hold. I got you. I got okay, you. Okay. Oh, ding. So uh, some positives about the game since we're still in training mode. It reminds me of Superman '64. You're going through rings. Yeah, they want want to get you accustomed to the new uh, flight patterns. Which I hate. And the new uh, control scheme. It's terrible. So, uh, one positive, I will say, is uh, the actors of Star Fox have done nothing but these games. <laughs> That's uh, a positive? Uh, pretty much. Your I mean, IMDB is blissfully yeah, short. Well, I, I looked at it, and it's like, they've done a couple like side games. I think the actress who plays uh, Slippy was the... The Spartan in Dead or Alive 4, <laughs> and that's about the only other credit she has to her name. Well, now I'm gonna play that game a little differently. <laughs> on, you beat up on the Spartan because he's green, reminds you of a toad. <laughs> <laughs> uh! Wait, I forgot that ring! Wait, stop! No, no! let's go back! Wait! Hey, Rob, can you pick that up? <laughs> no, Dan, do. Sorry. Star Fox Zero! Star Fox Zero! Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, well. Okay. So, uh... We got a prologue to watch first. Yeah, we do. Let's watch the prologue. I mean, we're not gonna get to actually any actual gameplay today, if that's what you're thinking, because after this we're gonna riff some other little thing, I think. Maybe. If you want to, yeah, we can riff that. I mean, hell, we'll have... Oh, Falco Lombardi. I guess he's a star. I love this. So, this prologue actually plays if you let the uh, main screen go on too long. You uh -huh. know, it recycles it and plays this again. I have seen this scene about 50 plus times when I was testing and trying to get this thing to work. Jeez. So I know this thing like the back of my hand. Yeah, Slippy! I almost said Peppy Toad. Well, maybe it's your turn to start quoting things now. Because I'm just going to keep doing Star Fox 64 shit. Well, you, you know the sad thing is there's no words in this, so I can't fucking quote a Star Fox game yet. Well, let's make our own then. Uh, don't party just yet. It's time to try our new weapon. Uh, I'll see you in Smash, Fox, because that's what your design's based off of in Ultimate. Whoa, hey, you remember this from Star Fox 2? Of course you don't, because you never played it. I played it. I mean, everybody played it when they found out emulators were great. They are great. But I won't say that here. <laughs> well, I guess that's a prologue. Oh, no, wait, that's not the prologue. We've got more prologue. Yep, here's the actual Thanks, prologue. Fox. Fox McCloud. I think what you mean is... Cornaria, fourth planet of the Lilac system. I'll give it a second because uh, playing through level one reminded me greatly of uh, Star Fox 64's first stage. Would you rather be playing that though? I don't know. I mean, I'm the one who finds the positives in shitty motion controls, so maybe I en I'll end up doing this better than you. Maybe. Who knows? That's a big old maybe right there, buddy. Uh, Andros, back when he had, you know, a body. 
my father, James, his best friend and wingman. Pesky Yo, man. they say Andros is a mad scientist because he, he does all these crazy experiments. How the fuck do you turn into a head and hands? Science. Turns Science. Was working for Andros but, the whole time. You, well, that's just like Dr. Giro making himself into an android. How the hell do you do that? Led them straight Very into a trap. carefully. Yeah, exactly. So, Andros plus science equals no head. Or, sorry, only head. Hold on, wasn't his brain in a Dragon Ball Z movie? I thought I, I thought that his brain was already used for one, and then he used the rest of his body to make Android 20 or whatever, or something or other. I'd, I'd forgotten. Maybe that was a different brain from a different guy. Or maybe he's from the Rayman universe, where everybody's just... Well, he has no torso. He's the old Rayman. The first so Rayman. It turns out he's just on his tippy toes looking over, just, you know, mm. patient zero Rayman. <laughs> who who had, like, like the new Rayman made Five torsos. And feet. The battle between the I don't know. Forces is spreading Thanks for every trying. Planet in the so, system. Star Fox Zero is supposed to be to the first game in the series. Yeah, yeah, technically, Star wouldn't Star Fox, Fox Zero be about James McCloud? If it's gonna be like a prequel type shit? Yeah, yeah, Zero? Yeah, you'd think so. I think uh, Zero just means remake of 64. Because, uh... So this is the third remake of 64! Uh-huh. Second, I mean. Se yeah, second. Because you got the one in the... Yeah. 3DS and then... It's the third iteration of Star Fox 64. Yeah, so, uh, you are going to... You're either going to love this or hate this. We'll see. Well, I'm already hating it because it plays like crap, but uh, we'll see if the shooting itself is good. Well, I mean, we'll see. Anything can happen at this point. I mean, it looks good. That's one. Another positive I can give it. Today. That brings us today, except for all the other todays where we went like to Dinosaur Planet. Oh, don't remind me of that. Remind me of that. E Glock 2, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. Demon da Norgda! Yitzin ma dornast! Hear that, Andros? We're coming for you! Bring it on, Andros. Well, fine, that's the prologue. There. Let's get to the main game now. Oh, please, because I don't want to see you go, th go through that training again. So there's two... Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we already did that. There are three it's... total vehicles it in this game. On, it was still going on the screen. Yep, it's still on the screen. Even though this is, see, look at this. You have stuff happening up here, but you're too focused on the game pad. Yeah, Falcon's right. I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Hey, Fox! <laughs> Can you fucking fuck off? <laughs> Eat a dick, Falco. <laughs> Please stop killing your bird friends. It's not hurting him. I know, but it's ruining the moment. Check what moment? Check your Judith. Check your Judith. It was it was much more dynamic in the '64 version because we're flying along across the fucking you know whatever. We're, we're, we're zooming across the oceans of Corneria. Okay, this I hate. You have to look at your partners in the gamepad. So look what? At them. Look at them. Okay. Hi. 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 Hi, everybody. Friends. Hey, Falco. You still shithead. Fox. <laughs> yep, Calibre ow, just ow, Calibre ow, just fucking ow, 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 ow. <laughs> All right, boys, <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> you still hit him. Piece of shit. Whoa! Oh my God. We're in the Starbucks zero. Here we go. All right, here we go. Fucking Falco. <laughs> okay, now he can take damage. Stop shooting him. Hurry to Corner City. All right. Okay, so well. each level, from the looks of it, is divided into multiple phases. Uh, just consider this like part one, part two of every mission in Star Fox 64. So you're going to be going around and shooting everything to get hits. That determines where you get to go next, just like in Star Fox 64. Okay. Look at those giant saw blades. Kill them. Go kill them right now. Kill them and don't get hit by them because they hurt a lot. Hey, yeah. you did. It. Yeah. All right. So another thing that happens, just like in Star Fox 64, don't worry, you're not missing much here on the main uh, thing here, is uh, sometimes your teammates will get surrounded by enemies and you'll have to kill them and different paths will open based on who you save and who you save. You know, sorry, screw you. That's fun. Go for the gold rings. You uh, Actually, you know about Star Fox more than I do. What do the gold rings do again? Health. Uh, 
if they work the same way they do in 64, if you get three of them, they give you a little bit of a little health boost. Okay. If you get three more, they give you a one-up. Ooh, okay. God, you suck, Slips. Hey, you did it. Okay, this part's kind of cool. You're following Slippy. If you go through the waterfall that's coming up here, that's a gamepad-only thing because you can't fucking see shit on the main screen. Oh, I see it. Here and we go. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, my gosh, it's a secret. And you get a little ribbon. I think that adds to your score, but then again, I wasn't uh, too asked to pay attention to that what that makes that 60 bucks all worth it. Uh-huh. Oh, look, another one! Hey, hey. You did Yoink. it. This game is easy peasy. <laughs> it's for baby. Oh, I want that. Okay. It's for baby. <laughs> Oh, another one. <laughs> oh! So, can you consider this a baby game since not many babies would be able to properly control this? I don't know, but uh, I want that. Keep up you yeah, can. you do. Thank you. Oh, nice. It's good metal. I guess I can't go that way? Uh, no. I think you need the walker to step on a button to get that thing to go? Oh, well. That's my thought. So, if you want to, we can come back here at a later time and try to get everything. No, I think it's just gonna be the one. All of a sudden, I feel really eager to get back to Mario Galaxy 2. Did you say hello? This is what you wanted to say instead! Yep. You, you specifically mentioned to me, Hey, I think we should do Star Fox <laughs> while waiting for the other half of Mario Galaxy 2. Phase 1's complete. There you go, that's, uh, that's Phase 1, that's to get you back in the seat. Alright, right, I'm back in the cockpit, I'm, I'm, I'm flying high. Doing You're good. Right. You're yeah. doing really good. You haven't been hit yet, so, which is... No, a lot better than I'm what sure, I was doing. I'm sure, I'm sure I've gotten hit a couple times. Fox, oh, I'm live! I'm on TV! I'm, on I'm, I'm a TV star! Switch cool, I want that. Mode. Yep, you're now in all range mode. You fly all over the place. Yeah. We'll say the first person view does kind of work for all range mode, but I don't know why they just make it work for third person like they did all those other times. I don't know. Because, uh, here's what's... Okay, another thing about okay? development. So, your reticle is based on what you see in the gamepad, right? So if it desyncs, you need to resync it. Yeah. On the main screen, your cursor also desyncs, which means you need to readjust it. So they are basically forcing you to use the gamepad. Yeah, essentially. Alright, kill ten bad guys. I want to see you do it, Flyboy. Yeah, I'll do it, no problem. It'll be easy. Well, I guess I hit it. You watch hey, me do it. Tail. Try doing a somersault. Okay. Whoa! Yeah, I'm the best. Go me. So, the targeting is actually really funny to see from my perspective, because I'm watching the main screen. And, uh... <laughs> basically, when you target on something, you see you flying and hitting other things as I'm <laughs> looking at you focusing on the main building. <laughs> it's really funny. I must look like a fucking ace fighter right now. <laughs> ace. Absolutely ace pilot. Boy, it'd be really great if I could get this live thing out of my fucking view because it's really kind of... Oh, yeah, I see yeah, that. Yeah, this that's, is, this that's is disgusting. taking up most of my view here. It'll eventually go away, but now you need there, to kill okay. the spider bots. I, I, I touched it and it went away. Uh, those spider bots are killed fr uh, from above, so you need to shoot them on their little glowy head thing. Oh, yeah? Uh, right down there. You're actually targeting them on the main screen. Right. Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, I need to look up there every so often, I guess. <laughs> and I don't know why you need to do that, though. It's so stupid. There we go. There we go. And... Oh, another one. Uh, turn, I think... turn, 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 turn. I think I know what they want me to do. Yeah, oh, they want, here, they want like you to that. do that. There yeah, there we, there we go. Death from above. Oh, the there's another gold ring over there. Time. To the right. Ooh. Uh, in the, uh, in the building, you're right next to it. There's a way to go in there, and you can get another gold ring. But first, spider bots. Um, you got him. There it is. So this is definitely a co-op game, because I'm gonna have to... Yeah, you gotta be my second pair of eyes. And that's so pathetic. <laughs> I mean, not because you need a second pair of eyes, but because the game was designed like this. Yeah, pretty much. There you go, you got him. And do I hear two? I hear two. two. And, whoop, and three. three. And, and oh wait, bonus four. four. Ooh. Shut up, Falco. <laughs> Eat my dick, you worthless AI bot. 
I think that was your first hit, so you're doing really good. I got hit a couple times. But I am getting the hang of it for a little bit. It does take some getting used to. Yeah, it well, shouldn't then. take getting used to, it just be like in a pickup and oh, that's how it works. I don't think there's any way it was ever going to be that. Because Nintendo loves taking ideas and concepts that they have for games and saying, you know what, we've got a gimmick, let's run with it. And unfortunately, that gimmick was a dying console. I think a lot of this is me and his fault. Well, he loves the Wii U. He, he also loved this ridiculous method of playing a game, too. He thought, yeah. He thought it was just, just the tits. Uh-huh. And it did not make for a, uh, for a very good game. And the thing is, you're doing a lot better than I was. So, I'm giving you all the credit here. You are the Star Fox Master. Well, thank you. And this is my first time doing any of this, so uh, where am I going? And you're still doing pretty good. Uh, so there's a couple guns on the underside. So they want you to explore this entire big robo thing. Is that where I'm going? Okay. Yeah, there it is. Wow, that was, a, that was a nice dodge there. I don't think you meant to do that. But... What, what did I do? Oh, that. Yeah, that. Oh. <laughs> oh, big laser. Oh, big laser. Yeah, there's another one. And... Ooh, there's nearly dodged one. that and you get... Whoops. <laughs> it actually fell on you! That's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. alright. That was... That was good. Uh -huh. Oh, he's getting away! Get him! Fuck. He didn't fail his uncle. Oh, there's your first mission to Star Fox Zero. What do you think? It's a thing, alright. Mission complete. I didn't, I didn't do the full thing. Alright. We're heading out. I think you'll survive. All aircraft report. Hmm. I'm, I'm fine. fine. You, you okay, okay over there, Fox? Oh. You're becoming more like you your father. That was a close one. Oh. Oh. I was worried please, for a moment. Please say it. Oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why it just screamed a game I've played before. Actually, right now it screams a game I'd rather play. I know. Yay! Hey, nice job. Yeah, I got, I, I got a gold medal. You did it. I did it. That's nice. Yeah. Anyway, well. let's uh, let's see where we're heading next. We're gonna go forward. You got... I got a silver. Oh, that's alright. I should've done way better. I'm sorry I disappointed you that. I, I think it's okay. And now, the map screen. The map screen. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Here we go. Off of Corneria, and here's where we're heading next. Look at all that. That's the whole game, isn't it? That's the whole game. Uh huh. I mean, unless there's something after Venom, which I seriously doubt. Where's the sun? The sun? They cut solar out! They cut the fucking sun! How do people have their days and nights now? There's no, there's no star near here! You fuckwits! Where did you put the sun? Andros, you madman! He destroyed the sun. That's way too far away to be the sun, though. <laughs> that's a super. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's a black hole. That is no. Oh my god! That's the finale of Super Mario Galaxy. I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see you next time on Star Fox Zero. More like Star Fox Zero out of ten.